Well, hey everybody, it's Outland. Today I want to talk to you about a shoe brand that has very quickly become one of my absolute favorites. And the company is called Ultra. And uh, those of you who run are probably familiar with them already because they're pretty popular in the running circles. But if you hike, you may not know them so well, but you should uh, definitely take a look. Now, I picked up these shoes here. These are the Torin 2.5. These are the older model. Uh, there is the 3.0 that's out right now, but um, I got these for a steal online because they're the older model. I got these for $55 with free shipping online, and they're absolutely fantastic. These have to be the most comfortable shoe I've, I've seriously have ever used in my life, and I've had lots of different shoe brands. Now, what makes these Torrens so awesome is there's a couple different things. It has what's called zero drop technology, which is basically means that uh, there's no elevation to the heel. So when you strike the ground, it's a flat strike like this. But there's still cushion underneath you. And what that does is that gives you a more natural um, plant of your foot. So each time you strike your foot on the ground, it's, it's a lot more natural than um, most shoes that are out there right now that uh, have an elevated type of heel. Uh, shoes we've pretty much worn our whole lives uh, have some kind of elevation to the heel. And so you're always been kind of doing this which is it's rough, harder on your ankles, harder on your Achilles, and your calves, and everything. And uh, with this flat, it's just like naturally walking. What also makes it more natural is what they call this foot shape technology here, okay? And there's nothing really that new about this. They are not the first ones to do this. Uh, Vibram has done it with their five finger type shoes. Um, but, but basically what this is, it's, it's a very wide toe box right here, see? and basically what that does is it allows your toes to, to spread out to, to, to basically to uh, just kind of do this naturally splay and so that in conjunction with the flat step and your toes going out it's just like you're naturally walking it's how your legs were, were meant to be how your feet were meant to function and it takes a little bit of getting used to uh, it took me about a week to really kind of not have any kind of pain with these things but once I, I, I let my, my toes relax and my feet relax, and these are awesome. It's, it's like naturally running uh, barefoot, but you have the addition of this really nice cushioning. So it gives you, um, they also have this inter, Interflex technology, which um, kind of gives you like a spring. So when you plant your feet, it kind of does this, and it just kind of launches you. And it, it really, really does. It's, it's it's amazing how, how awesome these shoes are now I've had these for about a month three weeks to a month uh, I put over 100 miles on them I ran 10 miles in them today and so you know I've got some some wear on on the tread there these Torrens are, are road running shoes these are not hiking shoes by any means these are meant for road walking or running so that's what I'm sticking to them for you know just running on pavement you know, running on the sidewalk or running on the road. Um, I bought these for uh, upcoming half marathon I have coming up in, in a week. <laughs> so I've been training for that sort sort of training. I'm not really a runner, honestly. I'm, I'm a hiker, and I actually did a whole blog post on this, my thoughts on running versus walking and hiking. And um, I'll put a link down that in the description so you guys can check that out. But I, I talked about my thoughts on uh, my, my fears of, uh, of running 13.1 miles. I did 10 miles today and I did pretty darn good um, for me. You know, it was about two hours, kind of a slow pace, but for me, I'm, I'm very happy with that because that means I, I know that I have the endurance to do it. You know, I've hiked 15, 20 miles in a day with no problem, but running is a, is a totally different ball game and I've, I've struggled with it. I've struggled with running a lot. I had some, some difficulty with running, but you know, I don't want to place all my, my faith in the gear by any means but I think these shoes have definitely helped they've given me some more confidence and they've really helped with things uh, problems that I've always had with running with uh, shin splints and things like that I also use calf compression sleeves which do help with the uh, shin splinting but uh, once I got past the two mile suck they call it um, which is basically that first two terrible miles of, of trying to run then my legs just really loosened up my feet just really relaxed and I, I had a great time, I had a great run. Uh, it started to suck towards the end, towards, towards the end of the 10 miles. So 13.1 is gonna be um, interesting, but I will push through it. I will complete it. I will get my finisher medal for sure. 
I have no doubt, unless I injure myself. Uh, hope, you know, knock on wood, I don't do that. But uh, right now, it's looking, it's looking good. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about the about this race coming up. But uh, I, I do attribute some of this to these shoes because they have really, really helped. And they were recommended to me by family members who are marathon runners, ultra runners. They, you know, they said try these shoes out. And um, if you guys watch uh, Homemade Wonderlust, uh, Dixie, she's been doing the uh, Pacific Crest Trail and she only wears ultras, long distance hiking. And she, um, actually I, last episode I watched, she wore through an entire pair and she had to do a drop and get another pair. And she's actually wearing, I'm not sure which um, trail shoe she's wearing. It's either the Superior or the Lone Peaks. But uh, you see, like I said, these have no real tread on. These are road shoes. But if you are looking to get these in a hiking shoe or a trail running shoe, you want either the Lone Peaks or the Superior. I think they have a couple other models as well. But uh, those are the two that I'm looking at. And that is definitely going to be my next shoe. Probably this Superior. That's what my buddy Rob has. And he wore them in the last couple trips we've taken to the Red River Gorge. In my last video, he was wearing them. And I should have had him talk about them a little bit because he absolutely loves them. He does uh, some hashing. Uh, what's, what's called hashing. It's like a geocache running, I don't know, kind of thing. Uh, he's invited me to them. I, I haven't never gone to them, but uh, eventually I'm going to try to get one of those hash meetups. But uh, he swears by the, the ultras, and, and I wasn't sure about them, you know, when I when I heard about them. But I'll tell you, <coughs> when I tried these things on, I, I immediately knew there was something different about them. And I think they're going to be fantastic for hiking. Maybe just a summer type shoe. I might still stick to my Keens for winter because they're waterproof and they do make a waterproof uh, the uh, Lone Peak uh, Neo shells are waterproof and they're awesome they have the, they have this amazing tread on the bottom and they're just these are so lightweight I mean they're, they're like they're like nothing they're like a feather they're absolutely fantastic shoes I I really can't say enough awesome things about these ultra shoes and if you can find an older model online like I did like I looked on 6pm.com they're a subsidiary of Zappos and like I said, 55 bucks um, sold. Yeah, I had to have them. And I wanted to have them in time for the race, so uh, I was very fortunate they were doing free shipping at the time. And uh, so I basically went into my local running store, tried on a pair of the 3.0s, and got sized, and then <laughs> went and ordered these online. And, and they hate that, by the way. They do not like you going in there and just getting sized. They can definitely tell when, you're, when that's what you're doing. But uh, sorry. I'm, not, I'm gonna pay $120 for the 3.0s when I can get these for half the price or more, more off, $55. Uh, it makes perfect sense to, to get the older model, unless there's some drastic change that makes them absolutely amazing. But uh, yeah, <laughs> these are fantastic, fantastic running shoes. And I think they're gonna be great for, for hiking as well. So I cannot wait to get a, a pair for hiking, the trail shoes. So uh, check them out. I'll put some links down below uh, where you guys can look at ultras and, and look go to their site and stuff and see what you think you know not it's not for everybody not everybody's gonna like the uh, the um, zero drop approach uh, if you have really flat feet that, you know or arch problems you know this may not be the best for you but I have found that these were really great for me they were they work out very well and the, the wide toe box like I said you know my Keens have fairly wide toe box but these are just very 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 wide some people don't like the look of that they don't like that they kind of say it looks like clown shoes I think these are very awesome looking shoes I, I really I think they're stylish and functional so I think they're great so I'm absolutely in love with them uh, maybe I'll find something I even I love more but for now these ultra shoes are the bomb so just thought I'd show them to you and uh, kind of talk to you about shoes and that's all I have to say right now. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys very soon.